first map of tonight of the first also first map of the first game tonight road to deep rock is, is, is there another match uh, cool. yeah all this should be all sickle no hammer versus knuckleheads bonk oh that might be interesting yeah the meme match no it's not the meme match was happened when we played against all hammer oh it's all sickle yeah it's all sickle ah yeah. okay very much so. and then after that we're gonna play eco i think you're gonna get milked tonight. Oh god. Getting <laughs> getting groomed in empty. I mean <clears throat> anyway. Sunaposa takes down Lumbao but some for that. Oh nice trade. trade here with Sun. Yeah. It's two two players against each other. Mika getting oh, put to are, sleep. You are having the advan at the advantage mm. right now. Yeah. Well Yeah, at least the man advantage but, Lampara oh, is pretty it's low. Pop got lamb, very sneaky. Now it's food, they cross paths and Propois kills people lover, taking the first round. I think generally the strongest position there, the stairs at this door, where you have the most oversight, you can change the your space the fastest. So there was very smart of Pop to stay there and watch out if he hears or sees the enemy players moving around. Mm-hmm. For Yuma, it was probably lack of coordination towards the end to maybe know that most people stick around these points and approach it accordingly. Yeah. It kind of crumbled, crumbled apart there. I don't know. Lafara said they don't have a problem with communication, but fire laid down Mika down to 60 oh, HP. Mika already damaged here. No, also to say, so. all of Yuma are assault, whereas uh, DF plays with two assaults and one recon. Mika is recon right now. Yeah, they did that last round as well. Mika, Mika and Lamford are quite close right now. Yeah, they Exchanging almost meet up. Here. Yeah, no Mika made a few shots and it hurt, it hurt as if it would hit, but it didn't. Classic New Tokyo. Ooh. Oh, strong play here by Yuma, staying together, covering each other. And it's down to Sunabosu, who can't to hit the shot. He's, he's spotted, I mean, they should know where he is, they might can approach him if they coordinate it. People lovers still sitting in the corner, oh, finally moving. Yeah, Yuma gathering up here, while Sunabosu is waiting. On, this, on the bridge, but and gets killed. That's a round for you. That's the, yeah, that's the round. Maybe they can get a f few more rounds under their belt. Interesting now. also that Yuma they have more points across the board the players, oh, so yeah. maybe they can get to the early MX faster than DF if they can hold up that tempo right now. Hmm. I don't know if yeah, yeah actually yeah. I would be more keen to use uh, longer range weapons on this map though, like the ZRL, CRL on the recon. I'd be lich. Sunabozo killing Straight. Lumbo. Yeah, right Ooh, Mika flanking people over here. But... Oh, nice little flank. Nice round by Mika here. Getting two players in the back with the chit. The CRL might be really strong with Assault here, working with the motion vision together. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I mean, that would require a trade. But then again, that could be Recon with CRS, and that's also extremely strong for Rick. Mm, no, Mika seems to be sticking to Jishita here. Not every team likes to swap, which I understand. Yeah. Different folks, we different strokes. I'm father laying fire there, Mika down to 36 Swap. HP. Are the ghost giving callouts? But they are. Yuma is probably already spotted. Yeah. Looping around here now. 
but staying to very easily together and being defensive so they cannot get the cap on them. They were taking apart here. It seems like DF has finally found their tempo, playing very well according, very coordinated here. Yeah. Not much changes in the team composition, still two assaults, one recon on DF, and still three assaults on Yuma. Mm. With Pop and Suna moving together, as are uh, now People, Lover, and Lambo. Mika, Mika getting mm. Lampard are very close here though. Yeah, narrowly escaping death. But people love uh, being getting used to that Mika ambushes them from the back, keeping it back on the their own spawn. Yeah. Might get sooner here, but sooner in a better position. Oh, Limbo, a bit confused here. Doesn't know which way to look exactly. Suna it's clashing it with the bullet. touchy. Yeah. Very well boxed here by DF. When they had an idea where they appropriately are. Approximately. And already two MXs on Road to Deep Frog. Yeah. Seems like my internet gave up for a second. Really good. Now production. we also have one recon on uh, Yuma's side. Yeah, Mika. Oh, actually getting killed there. I was gonna say the bullets did really seem to hit there. Wraps around, kills Lambao. Getting, as well. getting two players already. It's found his pacing. Now it's up to Lamfada. Back in the enemy lines. Way too open here for him. Gets crossfire nearly. Yeah, but. Yuma, I think one of the problems is that they stick to their guns a bit too much. They don't allow themselves to uh, be more diverse with their class choices. But maybe again, it comes down to the inexperience. Uh, inex yeah, inexperience of not playing the game enough. Yeah, it's also with this map, they, they don't find the right spots here. They are too cautious in some regards. Or in two um, open in others, which also speaks for this inexperience. Mm -hmm. and they're always but taking they, they one play, lane here. Try to play together here, one lane. It's not a bad move to stay to pick one lane on the outside here. Yeah, and you have to, uh, you have to give them props for always sticking together here. And Mika trying to kill people out through the fence here. Almost does the job. Oh, actually, it does the job. Damn. Pop being helped by the prop blocking the enemy nade. Now it's down to Limbao here. If I mean, two of the general are kind of low HP. Lowish HP. Ooh, Limbao, you need to turn around. That's not the way to look, and. He gets, <laughs> he gets turned into Swiss cheese by Mika. Six game to one. Moments. Yeah, there have been a few gamer moments. <laughs> they also, it's their problem how they cover lanes. Like when People Lover was waiting in the corner, he wasn't mm -hmm. aware that Mika might actually see him first when Mika looks from the spawn area. You should consider that as an improvement for further times to probably. Even this keeping angles. Oh, Mika they... actually on a lieutenant here. Already? Yeah, with the recon CR. Shame he doesn't take the Mossad though. The superior weapon. Yeah, the superior weapon. Uh, I don't know. Weapon for a gentleman with skill and class, I might say. Mo some, might, some might say that the silenced Mossad is a thinking man's weapon. It might very be, well be so. Getting Lambo here with the CRC. Sooner getting Lampfader. 
I mean, people are forgetting the drop on Mika, but he might be very well spotted by Suna. Just sticking to his trusty corners here. He loves those corners. He loves those corners indeed. Now, Pop could cap it if he wanted to, but Suna gets the drop yeah. on him. And that's, I think, only one win remaining for DF, and yeah. they have won this only match one point here. Away. Seems like he was caught in the open when he was moving, trying yeah. to hold back. Caught in the open. And we see an SRS by Suna. Too fond of his corners. Yeah, SRS. Definitely a good choice in this long range map. But not the thinking man's one. <laughs> uh, hmm. oh, 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 yeah, okay. For you, it might be. I'll, <laughs> I can agree to an extent. I won't. I wouldn't say I agree with your opinion, but I won't trample it in the mud. That's very kind of you, Kinoko. Yeah, I'm. I'm really fond of my SRS on certain lanes, on certain maps. I mean, that's kind of what the lieutenant weapons are. They are very situational, and that's a great thing usually about them. Suna getting a hit shot on yeah. is showing that he can do it. Although I feel ooh, mm, very around. lucky here against Lamfada. Yeah, although I feel that for three v three, I think the um, the threshold for lieutenant lieutenant weapon should have been lowered maybe a bit. I mean, you already have a general problem in competitive MT that um, matches can get unbalanced with teams getting better weapons later on, earlier. Um, it's hard to say. I think for 3v3 it works actually better than 5v5. Hmm. Yeah, could be. Well, Neo Tokyo isn't really... Excuse me. <clears throat> Neo Tokyo isn't really competitively ready anyway. Or never yeah, has been, true. in my opinion. There's a long discussion about how to handle the XP issue on competitive play. Since yeah. it's, well, it's not just the XP issue. issue, it's also a lot of other factors. That yeah, add up, but like I've said it uh, many times. Personally, I think Neo Tokyo could be a really good competitive slash esport game, and people that were taking down Sunaboso here, keeping it and interesting. He could turn this round with thirty he seconds. He could turn remaining. this. People that were can shine when he wants, or if he, he should. Can. He doesn't use leans or so. That's his issue. The he's still very Counter Strike, I think, in his playstyle yeah. here. And I'm sticking down, and, and he gets it. Actually, yeah, second Very round on The CRS matches against the MXS. Keeping it exciting. Keeping it exciting indeed. That's already more rounds for Juma than they than they had in their previous matchup versus Bonk. I mean, that's the cool thing about those um, teams that kind of form around playing the first time competitively. But you can really see them grow each match. Yeah. Last tournament, I really, I was really rooting for near the spinning tree, but I think all the yeah. players dissipated away after the tournament. I think they're just not for regular play, but funny enough, a surprising amount of them are still in the Discord, so... Mm. Maybe they consider it for another 5v5 tournament if it suits the time schedule. I would like to see them return. Yeah, definitely. And a lot of other teams as well. <clears throat> Bonk included. Hope, oh, let's hope, pray for Bonk. That's, that's it, everybody. Hashtag pray for Bonk. Yeah, pray for... No. <laughs> no Bonk definitely... No, Bonk will... Play. And that's it. Time, First yeah, map, 8 to 2. While we for DF, and the next around. map is Envoy. Envoy, I think Juma, I think Juma is pretty comfort comfortable on Envoy, so they can gather a few rounds there as well. I think, or they could. 